Mr. Parker here, and I just got back from seeing Lords of Salem, the new Rob Zombie movie, and uh, uh, I don't really know what to say, to be brutally honest. I went with uh, four other people. One person absolutely hated it. They said it was the worst movie they ever seen in theaters, uh, and everyone else just figured it was all right. I'm probably in, I'm in the all right boat. Uh, basically, what we have here is the story of uh, Sherry Move Zombie. She's a disc jockey with two other people. One is Ken Forey. He does a great job in it. The acting's all, all good in this, all good actors, all good uh, characters, really, kind of, too, as well. But uh, essentially, she gets this album sent to her. She plays it. Uh, all the a certain number of women seem to be obsessed with the album and are kind of hypnotized by it. It's just sounds. And through later on, you find out what is going on here. And I don't want to give too much away, but basically, it kind of follows a story of trying to bring back Satan into the real world through a birth. You know, uh, you know, I never seen Rosemary's Baby. That's blasphemy for me. I know it's just a terrible thing, but I have seen stuff like The Devil's a Daughter, The Sex, stuff like that. And it's a it's a very typical story, to be honest. I, I mean, and also people will probably compare this to Hocus Pocus as well, as silly as that sounds, because it goes back to the, I don't really think so, in tone or anything, of course not, but it goes back to like the Salem Witch Trials and things like that and brings witches back, but uh, I don't really know exactly what to say about the film, uh, one, uh, one of my uh, friends, Jeremy, said the pacing was terrible, I would agree with that, the pacing was off, there are some genuine creepy moments in here, but there are some moments that are really just bizarre and almost come off comical, uh, there's this scene, uh, minor spoiler, of a semi, like, kind of like it's supposed to resemble like a baby Satan, not at the end, or just, it's kind of like a, it looks like a thing from, it looks like the thing from the end of Beetlejuice that walks out and marries the two. It, it looks rather uh, comical, but it's really disgusting at the same time. Uh, there's a couple good scenes in here, and the opening is just a scene that no one probably has ever seen in a film before, and uh, i got to respect the opening of this movie because it's just so uh, crazy. Meg Foster's in it. She plays the old main witch. She does a great job. She's really creepy and uh, naked a lot of the movie. Don't don't know if it's a bodysuit. There's a lot of nudity, tons of nudity, but a lot of the nudity is going to put people off because they're not used to seeing regular people naked or older people naked. They're just going to be like, whoa, and they're going to be like, that's the grossest thing i ever seen, ah, and just be really big babies about it. But uh, all in all, it's a really weird movie, and uh, the end just gets kind of like uh, really surreal, and uh, there's a couple things in there that are just kind of uh, stupid, but I guess I have to understand that those are happening in her mind, and that's what she's going through during the process. But uh, I really enjoyed Ken Forey. I did have some problems with it. Uh, what happened to Ken Forey and uh, the other DJ, they just kind of disappear. I didn't like that at all. They don't, they're not explained what happens. Bruce Davidson does a great job in it as well. He plays a really likable character. But uh, the movie's pacing is off. Uh, like I said, genuine creepy moments. It does feel a lot like a 70s horror film. I, I don't know how to develop a full opinion on it. Uh, this is really going to be up to certain people. Some people may love it. They'll find some great love to it. And some people will just absolutely hate it. I just think it's kind of uh, unique and different, but also some of the same, like an old, a similar plot, but done just at a different kind of way. That's just ridiculous. Uh, uh, man, it's really hard to judge this one on a whole. Like I said, this is definitely going to be up to everyone else to decide. Uh, it's a surreal type deal towards the end. Gets kind of artsy, crazy type deal. And people that like closure will hate it. If you like closure, if you like stuff not to be abstract and stuff like that at points, then you're not going to like it. it. It does start off seeming like comparable, like slow, like kind of horror build up, like slow burn, like Sentinel and stuff like that. Definitely inspired by 70s horror and like like the sex, stuff like that, but it has its own unique touch to it. It's not a Rob Zombie sleaze, cheese, uh, not cheese, I don't want to say cheese, but sleaze, violence fest that is very typical of him. There's some really nasty, disgusting stuff in here, and uh, a lot of people will probably be off-put by, uh, if they're big Christians, they're not going to dig this, the whole Satan thing, uh, but that's my review, or rundown of Lords of Salem. Uh, nobody in the car wanted to talk about it. I guess not. I guess they don't want their opinions online or anything like that. I don't know why. Maybe you just didn't want to be judged by hating it. But uh, that's what I had to say about it. Uh, I'm still on the fence about the film as a whole. And I'm probably the second person I've heard say they're on the fence about it. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.